Um, with Linda and Pretty of Allegiance Air and Executive Turbine. Um, we're in this little plane in the middle of an exhibition centre, which is unusual, um, but presumably a plane of this nature flies often for you. Is that correct? Yes, it's most popular flying to the lodges. It's usually the biggest aircraft that you have. They can fly out of there, or the strips um, actually um, with the runways and that. So if I was flying to a lodge in, in, uh, in the middle of a, a game reserve, would I be landing on grass, concrete or mud or what, what's the theory? Well, we prefer to, drive, to, to actually fly out on um, gravel strips. Um, we do have like a caravan or something that you wanted to actually fly on grass strips, but they don't really like that. For now, King Air 200, we prefer to use a tight strip or gravel strip. It has to be hard gravel. The we can just grass strips, caravans, we use that, we, we actually comfortable, we do have a caravan in our fleet as well. Okay, um, and what sort of clientele do you have pretty? I mean, is it presumably this this looks the sort of thing you're going to have to have a lot of money to uh, to be on? Mainly we deal with corporate clients, most of the clients are corporate clients. This big so in other words, big money? Big money, big money. Big companies, we deal with big companies like, if I can mention one, Sasso is one of our biggest clients. People like to be as marine, um, one of our clients as well. Okay, and um, once once the plane takes off, do you have an in-flight service, or do people just sit and look out the window? What's the what's the story there? Depending on the size of the aircraft, like for instance, if it's got a stand-up cabin aircraft, like we've got a 1900D, Bishkaf 1900D, we'll then have a hostel on board. Our Embraers have got a hostel on board. It all depends how big is the aircraft. There has to be a stand-up cabin to be able to have a hostel on board. If a client request we all available to provide the service that the client wishes to have. Okay, but it's not just charter you do. I think you do some uh, you do some scheduled services. Is that correct? Yes, that's one of our divisions. We've just started um, with two new routes out of Eastgate Airport and out of Madikwe as well, out of Lanseria Airport. And they've just started. They've been going for about a month now. And the Mozambique route's just over a year old out of Lanseria Airport to Belenkulos and to um, Umbuban. So when you say Lanzeri Airport, is that at Johannesburg? Yes, just under Lanzeri. So would, would you, do you get a fair number of people that would actually do international transfers? They can't get off a 777 and then get onto your aircraft and go out into the bush, so to speak? Absolutely, yes. They would, obviously, if it was out of Tambo, they would get a transfer to Lanzeri Airport. Excellent. And uh, how long has the company been going? 12 years. Without it's, uh, <laughs> no, because now there is this match that we've just did with Allegiance Air. Executive Turbine's always been there for the past 15 years. And now with Allegiance Air, we just matched the two companies. Okay, okay. But otherwise, Executive Turbine has been there for 15 years. And we've got our own fleet of aircraft with service, manage them. Everything is done under one roof. Um, this aircraft here, perhaps you can tell me a little bit more about it. How, how many seats it has and uh, how many people it carries? It's a King Air 200 um, aircraft. It uh, can carry up to 10 passengers max. We can put it into any configuration from a VIP configuration as you see it today, or alternatively into a 10 seat configuration and it will be like a, a school um, yard. Um, school classroom. School classroom <laughs> configuration. And now presumably these days uh, fuel is getting more and more expensive. Um, do you fly them with uh, fuel economy in mind? Yes, we do. Um, what we do is we um, do what they call is a fuel surcharge, and it's how we publicise our rates publicly to the general um, public. And presumably these are the sort of aircraft that can land on fairly short runways? Yes. The minimum has to be 1,200. 1,200 yeah. feet? Meters. Meters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah, um, obviously um, in order to keep this going you need to sell, and in order to sell you need to market. How do you market these services? Well, we've got our two sales ladies, um, um, Pretty and Linda, that goes out and we do exhibitions like this one. Mm -hmm. And we also have billboards up in Johannesburg. And yeah, We do also quite a lot of um, magazine advertising and all the big travel magazines and the tourism magazines we advertise there as well. And do you get a lot of business through travel agents, tour operators, that sort of thing or not? Or is it mainly direct? Fairly, we do get some. Simon goes to see all our tour operators and we've got um, packages with them. And do you, uh, Simon, do you get many overseas visitors? I mean, how do you get business there? Is it foreign travel agents are booking directly with you? Yes, we do have a number of foreign travel agencies on our books. Um, we predominantly pride ourselves in Mozambique 
and a lot of our work comes from the Mozambique operators and we do have a number of operators from various parts of the world as well. Excellent. And Debbie, finally, do you, do you uh, do a lot of electronic marketing? You use the web effectively or not yet? Not as much as we would like to. We're still uh, lagging a little bit electronic-wise, but we're getting there. We, we're making progress.